while it's back, we're practicing our singing here. Uh, hopefully you're better than us, though. You want to join the CI Sing-Off. It returns to CI Living next month. Well, so we've tweaked the rules a little bit, but the idea is still the same. We are looking for the best voice talent here in central Illinois. Submit your video online, right, Joe? Yes, please do. It doesn't have my name there, but I think I could sing a song. <laughs> you you want. Hey, look, they, they've got it all set up now. You this can go to IllinoisHomePage.net. Dink. Uh, a little flat. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to judge, judge us? Like that? <laughs> I'm a much better judge than performer. <laughs> the grand prize winner for the CI Sing Off this time around is going to bring win recording time at Pogo Studios. Now, we're only taking entries through May 3rd, so you got to be sure to get those videos in for your chance to win. You just saw the website, which is IllinoisHomePage.net. Think. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're fired. I'm going to submit my video today. <laughs> Please oh, do. I don't think you're eligible according to the new rules. Don't be disappointed. Sorry. Okay, so so speaking of commercials, as we sit here and sing our jingles, <laughs> have you seen the new Kmart commercial that just went to air? Well, you want to check it out. Ship my pants. Right here? Ship my pants? You're kidding. You can ship your pants right here. You hear that? I can ship my pants for free. Wow, I just may ship my pants. Yeah, ship your pants. Billy, you can ship your pants too. I can't wait to ship my pants, Dad. I just shipped my pants and it's very convenient. Very convenient. I just shipped my drawers. I just shipped my nightie. I just shipped my bed. If you can't find what you're looking for in store, we'll find it at Kmart.com right now and ship it to you for free. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my. That's word. a lot of shipping for those families. <laughs> Man. There's a wow. line there, and I'm not sure. Really? Well, I feel like you're not paying attention to the TV. You're like in the kitchen doing the dishes, and you're like, I, oh my, what, what did they just say? What channel are we watching? Rewind. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Very entertaining. Yes. So now, hey, entertainment time, right? Very good segue. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> now that's the one you're supposed to do. Oh, this is me. <laughs> Hi. Hey, cancel your plans and call in sick to work. Then come down to Marketplace Mall in Champaign for our live show. You get to that's see right, us. The lights are flashing. Which is a flash. frightening thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So maybe you've seen these very beautiful posters around. We're going to be making pretzels with Auntie Anne's. We're going to check out the spring fashions with Macy's. And we're going to be rocking out with the band Brush Fire. And immediately after the show, we're going to be taping a game show. Be in the audience and you might be selected to play. You could win a gift certificate to Bergner's, dinner for two from Buca de Beppo, or, and or cosmetics from Sephora. Just part of the Sign prizes for the game me show. Up. Right? Good time. Yes. You're not eligible. Sorry. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's true according to the new rules. Yes, we got a lot of rules. <laughs> so it's next Thursday, 4 o'clock. Next Thursday. This two, Thursday. Two like days. Two days from yeah. now. Yeah. I don't know my days. Rain or shine, we will be there. Yeah. Right. And we hope it you probably will be, too. will be raining. Well, so. we'll be there. That's so right. come on down and you could win some of those great prizes in our game show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when you look at a bottle like Let, here's the one you have here. Yeah. Most of us want to know you want to know, you know, throw it in the recycling. We don't want that. No. Do we? Well, but not in the days when bottles were glass. Bottles were works of art and now they're very collectible. Yes, those glass bottles. I actually met a collector in Arthur. His name is Bruce Wood. He owns Dick's Pharmacy. That looked like a jar shot, but it's glass still. Close the store features a functioning soda fountain, but Bruce prefers a pop out of a bottle. Dick's Pharmacy is a throwback to the way pharmacies used to be. It's not a normal pharmacy for today, but it is what we grew up with, the type of pharmacy that we grew up with. Along the top of the shelves, you'll see reminders of the days when beverages were always frosty and sipped from glass. I can tell you that soda tastes better out of glass than it does out of plastic or cans. Bruce Wood has taken that idea to the extreme and proudly displays his 650 bottle collection. And at one point, this was very collectible. I'm not, I think they found a stash of these someplace, so it's not quite as valuable as it once was. But it's the rarity and the condition of the bottles that makes them their value. I just think that the artwork on them is really cool. I really do. I think that there's a lot of really neat artwork that was done in the 30s and 40s, and it's amazing to me that they had the ability and the technique to put those that artwork on a bottle, and then that bottle still exists today, and sometimes in a very pristine condition. I always collected bottles, 
from the time I was a little kid. I just would out, go out and collect bottles. Uh, mostly just old medicine bottles, old pop bottles, old any type of you know, old glass. Fascinated with the embossed bottles at that time. And shortly after I purchased the store, then um, the wall over there, Noel had antiques from, of all types from pharmacy on, the, on both sides. And uh, I came in the store one morning and he had cleared off that entire wall and said, it's your turn. And so I went home and discovered that, you know, I didn't have a whole lot, but I did have a small collection of pop models I had started many, many years ago. And from there I just kind of uh, it blossomed. I just got a craze for collecting more and more pop models. There's 650 here now. But you have more at home? There's more at home, and right now I have a good number of my more um, collectible bottles on display at the museum. I used to go on eBay a lot, but once eBay started using PayPal for the only way to pay for them, I stopped using eBay entirely. Um, now I can get them at, um, and even then I would go to antique stores and buy them. Um, it'd take a lot of scouring to find ones that I didn't already have because at this point with over a thousand in the collection it's kind of hard to find ones except for the rare ones I don't have. Collectors of, of pop bottles will oftentimes collect just either just Indian bottles, just girl bottles, western bottles, um, or just bottles from certain states like they'll just collect them from Illinois or Indiana or Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania was the largest manufacturer of pop bottles because they had more manufacturers there than any place else. This is an Indian bottle but it's very much cartoonish. And some Indian bottles will be much more respectable to, um, to the Indians than what this is. It is to all of us who are collecting a thrill when we go into an antique store or to a bottle show or someplace and somebody has something that we want that we know we've been looking for, then it's just, just thrilling just to be able to find that one one thing. It's something you don't see today, soda bottles for the most part. These, co these companies you certainly don't see anymore today. The soda fountain is a, something that you don't see every day on every, on every drugstore like you did in the 50s and 60s. It's a, it's a time gone by. And a lot of what Arthur is, is a time gone by as well. So we do represent, in a way, this, the village of Arthur. I love the art on those bottles. That's neat. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and so you notice some of them have colored liquid in. So I was like, oh, so you, you have the original soda still in. Does that make it, you know, worth more? And he's like, no, that's just colored water because, you know, some of the labels are just solid white oh, sure. color. It makes or, it stand out. So better. then you can actually see it maybe how it would have been like had there been soda, had you gone down to the local pharmacy. I can actually remember back in the day when you did buy your Coke like that and then you had to take them back and get your, like, deposit back or whatever mm -hmm. that's probably past your day sorry yeah we <laughs> we don't i don't know what you're talking you're, you're about. dating yourself <laughs> what year was you're dating that? us <laughs> back in 19 <laughs> back in the 80s all right well who is ready for dinner because i definitely need one of those pops to go with it marilyn whalen is sharing several recipes perfect for any night of the week you don't want to miss our big reveal coming up and then we've got